Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Here I'm reading Always Running by Luis Rodriguez. Throughout Rodriguez's novel, he references themes of classism and criminality. Today, I will be investigating these themes through interviews of my peers, my teachers, and even my family. I will be answering the question, is criminality a class issue or not? In my opinion, I believe that criminality is a class issue, specifically because of our economic system and also of our education system. They are pitted against the lower class and make it harder for them to achieve the self-actualization that they need. Uh, my name's Jack. I'm here, to, I'm here to answer your question. What's your, what's your question, Zach? Is criminality a class issue in America? Uh, I believe it is. I believe that in America today, uh, poor Americans are more likely to uh, be arrested and do more time for the same crime than a rich person. Uh, and ideally, that, that shouldn't be the case, but currently it is. Criminality is in some way uh, related to socioeconomic status. But it's also important to understand that's not the only determinant. There are many other factors. Um, just for example, that crime levels among African Americans that were very, very poor were relatively low until the 1960s. In the 1960s, that changed where crime rate become, became much higher. And even though the poverty levels were less, even though the poverty was not as, not as uh, abject as it used to be. So it does play a factor, and I don't think it's the only determinant. There are other social issues, such as the breakup of the family, a large number of, of children who grow up uh, in homes with only one parent, with fathers that they are not connected with, that those are other major factors, as can be education and, and many others. That's my opinion. Uh, I definitely think that criminality is a class issue. I think that we create systems um, let's go basic school system. If you think about like the charterization of schools, a lot of times kids that are in charter schools are treated uh, very like institutionalized and are made to wear uniforms and walk on certain sides of the halls and not express themselves and not have free thought because we're basically treating them how to work in an institution and not necessarily giving them the skills to think for themselves, which a lot of times they feel sort of displaced and end up not making it through school and will drop out. And that basically is just a direct pipeline for prison. And we sort of created a system to get them there. Um, and I would, yeah, I think that a lot of times that the there is a vested interest in keeping people in poverty so that you can put people in prison because they make money off of prisons. And so I, I think that there's a direct line from the education system into the prison system. And a lot of times the most impoverished people are the people who are the victims of that. And we don't give resources, and I think it's on purpose, to a lot of people in lower classes, as far as like economic classes, uh, to be able to get a better life and actually achieve some sort of financial stability. The only way to do that is through crime. So. Hi, my name is Susan Marshall. I'm Zachary Marshall's stepmom. And in answering the question, is criminality a class, um, result of your class, I believe the answer is no. Um, the mind of a criminal, the acts of a criminal, uh, the desires of a criminal have nothing to do with um, an economic or um, social, social or um, you know how much you make or where you're brought up as to whether you might become or do something criminal. And hi, hi, I'm James Marshall. I'm Zach's dad. Although Susan had some good points that criminal behavior happens through outer society, no matter what economic or social status somebody might have, I do feel that there is a helplessness in the lower income that make people feel that in order to have the basic necessities that they need, they resort to criminal behavior within their communities. Um, in order to make money and to succeed? Um, I believe that criminality is a class issue in America because depending on what 
like neighborhood and everything you're born into that might lead you to a life of crime but that doesn't really mean that you have to go that route um, I would say that pe certain people are fates are determined before they are even born considering if they are born into poverty or if they are born into wealth so hey I'd like to thank all my interviewees and everyone for helping me out to gather evidence as to whether criminality is a class issue or not. Even though there are interesting arguments to say that criminality is not defined by class, I still personally believe that criminality is an issue of socioeconomic class and the system that our government, economics, and education are based in. Thank you very much for watching this documentary.